And... Well, it's a Mega Man game. Mega Man X3. Because there are three of them. Well, there's a lot more than that. They definitely started to put more and more effort into the kind of storytelling of these games. These kinds of scenes and dialogues and all that kind of stuff. That, I mean, it didn't really exist much in, in the original series until the Mega Man X series came out, and then they just pushed the boundaries more and more. Sort of like the opening cutscene, if you could call it that. Alright, let's go bust up some Reploids. Oh, man, I'm not doing well. Not gonna go for that. Ugh, oh, got hit by it anyway. I mean, definitely the, the gameplay that we've all come to know and love is in this game. But, I mean, by this point, I was really losing my interest in this series. What was this, 1995? I don't know. Hey, some guy named Mac. You betrayed me, guy I don't remember. What's this? I'm playing as Zero now! Holy shit! Oh! Zero plays a lot like Mega Man does. Feels a little bit stiffer though in controls. I don't know if that's real or if I'm just imagining that. But it has three levels of Mega Buster. Charge it up to the three different colors and one, two, and then a lightsaber. Awesome, right? Yeah, it's difficult to use, but it's there. Whoops, that sucks. Just gonna have to take that hit, I guess. <laughs> Ah, I tried to get you with my lightsaber. I'll just stand here and blast at you like this. Like a chump. Because you're dead. And we're X again. Yeah, that was, uh... That was fun, I guess. Boss battle time. It's a big one. Yeah. <laughs> this one doesn't pose much of a threat. One more hit, all to do it. Sigma's really, like, lost his thing when it comes to recruiting good enemies, huh? Yay, more Capcom games.
Mm, it's loading. Tell it's a PlayStation game. Stark Stalkers! The Night Warriors. A kind of Street Fighter esque game. I guess it was a Tar. Uh, Atari, jeez. Arcade game before then. But, um. Just a home console. Sort of like Street Fighter, I think, with the way that the, uh, the controls play out and some of the move combinations and all that kind of stuff. But the cast characters are a bunch of freaks. Even more so than Street Fighter. I'm not hearing you. What? Okay, that was round one. <laughs> All right. Get ready. Fight. I think. Uh, do they still make Dark Stalkers games? I don't know. I haven't. I haven't heard of an actual Dark Stalkers game. I mean, the characters are in the Marvel vs. Capcom, or at least Morgan here is in the Marvel vs. Capcom series. But I'm not aware of um, any new Dark Stalkers games coming out after the third one. Maybe Resurrection. That is a nice message to send there, huh? And what do you know? More Capcom. Well, what do we have here? Yeah, check the memory card. Man, no memory card. All right. And yeah, we're looking at more Dark Stalkers. Dark Stalkers um, three, I think it was. Yeah, three. <laughs> I think it was. I'm the one that picked it out, of course. Larger cast of freak characters. I'd say it plays a lot, uh, a lot more. I mean, it was probably based off the Street Fighter hardware in the arcades, and the game, um, it kind of feels fluid like the Street Fighter series, as opposed to like a lot of the stiffer animations and stuff that you see a lot of other games, that sort of like Mortal Kombat and such, was doing at the time, where they did the much slower and stiffer kind of feel to the way the game plays. Wow, I'm not do. The uh, characters feel a little floatier here, huh? And there's a lot of uh, <laughs> a lot of health here. I should have won this fight in the original one anyway. By now, but I do like how the they get right back up at the end of the first round to the second one. Uh, not doing that well. Oh, am I going to lose this round? Oh, jeez. Uh, what am I doing wrong here? I mean, aside from the fact that I'm really not good at this. Oh, well, then there we go. I win anyway. Ah, I should change the clothes. 